but it might not be the biggest. Phoenix A seems to have a mass of a hundred billion suns. But since this black hole is closer, we're seeing what it looks like more recently than Tun 618, which might have grown since. And these are just the biggest ones we know of. There could be an even more massive one just waiting to be found. And now, we're starting to get pulled into one. So if we're falling towards this thing now, mm -hmm. and we turn our rocket motors off, we're just in free fall, we're just floating. So it's like the astronauts on the International Space Station. Uh -huh. We're just there. So we could be approaching this in this room <laughs> now, and we would have no clue that, that that's what's happening. Uh, what about when we're in the accretion disk? Wouldn't we be well, banged around so, by a lot of stuff? So we, we, get, we might get in a bit of a mess as we fell through the accretion disk. <laughs> You're absolutely right. It's a bit nasty around these things. <laughs> but let's say that our room, this spacecraft, is magically insulated from radiation and heat and all those things. Then, nothing. One of the most shocking things, from the point of view of someone outside, the description is very different. Okay, now imagine you, yes, you, watching this. You go outside and you look with an all-powerful telescope at me and Brian falling into this black hole 26,000 light years away. 